Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are doing a little bit of a, it's like a tutorial or an explanation of how this Battlefront 3 Legacy Orbital Assault works. It's more so for the actual space battle, so we will get right to it. Alright, so the first thing I suggest you do is go onto the ship, spawn in, and take these ARC-170 Starfighters, because they are extremely helpful in the fight, and they will help you decimate the fleet a lot faster than you think. So, I guess the first thing I'll explain how to destroy is this Lucra Hulk class battleship. So first, as you see, there's a shield. So first, take out the shield here. Only thing is with this, you have to get a little bit closer. So, destroy the shield first, and I'll come back to you once I do that. Okay, so we're just about to take down the shield here. And now the shield's down, what you want to do is get to the front area here. Doesn't matter which way you go, so... Let's just say we want to go this way. Just go into the Lucre Hole class battleship and destroy the inside of it. And there's only one little area you need to destroy. That's why I say do this first, because then after this it's much easier to destroy the ship. At least in my opinion. But you know, we all have differing opinions here. I welcome diversity. So you just gotta fly all the way in here and you just got to keep going until you see the... Uh, what's it called? A little opening to your right once you get to this big uh, opening here. Right here. There, there are engines it says, but it really isn't. See, what you do here is you just gotta shoot into here and destroy them. See, that's part one of it. Hold on, I'm just gonna turn around here. And then we'll destroy these. Alright, so now you don't have to worry about doing this now. Now you just gotta fly out of here and... I'll show you where you need to go afterwards. Hold on, let me fly out of here first. Okay, so now we're out, and since the shields are down, you want, what you want to do next is you want to start shooting this area up here because I think it's the command bridge, if I remember correctly. So you just want to keep shooting it with this ARC-170 Starfighter because it's much easier that way. So there's part one of what you do, and now you move on over here, I believe. You gotta start shooting this part now. Until it gets off, and now it's been shot off. And now what you do next is you fly all the way straight back to the engines. And keep using this ARC-170 because it's really good and it really increases your chances of destroying this better. Alright, so now you can just start shooting the uh, engines here. It should take about two full things, and once you destroy it, take it's 200 reinforcements they lose. So that's just going to be uh, taking off now. And now we're going to move on to the second part here of the engines. There are three engines each, so you just have to keep doing it this way. Uh, oops, I think I'm a little bit too close there. Hold on. Alright, this should help a little bit. Yep, uh, what you want to do here is you just want to start destroying these engines here. I guess you can just do the small ones, do the small ones. I guess the bigger ones don't work all the time. See, there's there's the second part of the engines that are going bye-bye. Oh, uh, oops. Guess I was a little too close for uh, comfort there. And now, once this gets destroyed, you should notice they lose 200 reinforcements. 762 to 562. See? Bombers have su successfully taken down an enemy capital ship. So that's how you take down this Lucro Hulk, uh, yeah, Lucro Hulk uh, class battleship. Now here's the second part of how to destroy these Providence class dreadnoughts. Okay, so once you take down the shield first, you can just start going for three parts again. You go for the engines, then you go for the command bridge, or no, the communications area, and then you go for the bridge. And you see, I'm kind of just attacking them all at once here. You can attack them however you want. You can just focus them one at a time, or you can just do what I'm doing. Alright, see, there's there's the first engines. They're gone. There goes the second part of the engines. And here goes soon to be the third part. Hopefully we can destroy it and not have to turn around again. All right, so I should go. I should be good with uh, four of these. There we go. Now go for this communications pod, which is right up on top. 
and uh, after you destroy that, there's going to be a command board you can go for. Hold on a minute, just got to turn around here, then turn back around again. There we go, the communications pod is now gone. So now you go all the way to the front of this dreadnought, and you can just start bombing the very front of it. You'll see where it is. It's right here, you just start bombing it right here until you destroy it, and then it'll tell you what you took down the battleship. So, start bombing this here. See, there you go. Now it says bombers have to take down an enemy capital ship, and they lose another 100 reinforcements. They had 529, now they have 429. And now we're going to focus on how do you destroy these munificent class R frigates, but it's very simple. Alright, so, after you take down the shield, of course, which is what I'm doing right now, you, you don't even have to worry too much about this one. All you gotta do is you just destroy it a regular way, just like you would in regular OG Battlefront 2. Just keep destroying it, and once it's destroyed, you lose, or they lose, 75 reinforcements. So, whatever it stands out, let's just say it's at 380, they're gonna lose 75, so it means they'll have 305 left. This is your best way if you suck at battles on the ground. So, like I said, I'm just gonna show you this here. Just See, it says 386 currently. 35. See, now it's on 310. So, they lost 300. They lost 75 reinforcements, now they're down to 310. So, that should be all you need to know. The ground assault is basically useless. You just capture all the command posts like regular conquest. And, and, I mean, you could destroy other parts of this too if you want to, but you really don't have to. It doesn't do anything. It's a time waster. So anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I hope it helped you, and uh, goodbye.